Hey guys, welcome, and this is my Pandora, how to draft Pandora video. So, please play close, please pay close attention. I'm gonna start that over. <laughs> hey guys, welcome, and this is my how to draft Pandora video. So first we're gonna use a Pandora coin, play multiplayer to have more of a challenge here and you get better rewards. You might want to practice single player some if, if you like single player. Um, it's giving us green, yellow, and red for our three colors. So in Pandora, it locks out one of the four colors for drafting, so you, you're, we're not going to be able to draft any blue in this particular draft. <clears throat> Based on consistency, I think a red-green deck is the most consistent to, to draft in Pandora for wins. Uh, but mono green can be pretty good and mono red can be pretty good also. So we'll see how this goes. And yellow can be good too. We didn't get any starting yellow picks, so we might not play yellow at all. We'll see what else we get. Underground boss is now is now uh, nerfed. It used to be 3-5. And everything else was the same, so it's not great anymore. Um, Bone Collector is okay. Uh, not super great in Pandora, but it's okay. Storyteller's awful in Pandora, because the drawing two cards, when they draw two cards from it, they can open Pandora from it with the final shard, and then they gain the three feria, not you, even though it's your turn when you play Storyteller, which is pretty terrible. And Bloom Sprite is, uh, I think Gift of Steel is the best choice here. We'll probably see some more combat creatures. Even if we don't, plus three damage can be pretty pretty good, so... Get to steal here. We already got a combat creature here if we want it. Uh, here's okay. So he, so there's there's two. Boulder Thor is not great. Monkey Genus is not great, especially in Pandora since the wells expire. Path to Paradise isn't great either. But here's here's where we make a big decision. So we can either go Herald of War, which is good with Gift, or we can take this green card, which is one of the best value cards in Feria, let, uh, let alone Pandora. So. It's six for a seven seven, and there's there's a similar card called uh, Barbarian Ogre, which is red, which is seven for a seven seven. So this costs one less for no reason other than the fact that it's green instead of red. Uh, I think it's a stronger choice than Harold. Harold is uh, not great early game unless you know you have a lot of combat creatures in your deck. So I think we're gonna get Verdurn and go green green red here. Bold Bargainer uh, doesn't synergize well with a lot of cards in Pandora because usually you don't get that many 7 drops or higher. Um, Oak Father is actually a really good Pandora card. And now we're starting to see some yellow, but we're 2 color already. We can't play yellows. We can't play 3 color decks. It's not going to be consistent. Intrepid Explorer is not really great either. Uh, most of the time. Sometimes it's good, but when you're trying to get an extra land by the orb or something. But um, they're giving them an Explore too, so they're getting more Faria too. So I think Oak Father here. Firestorm is great removal. Uh, Bloodstone Sprite's terrible because the wells expire once again, so it's kind of one of those bad cards. Can't play yellow. Divine Guardian is kind of meh in Pandora because, again, the wells expire. It's not collecting anymore, so Firestorm. Uh, Living Willow. Ancient Boar. This new Ancient Boar is actually pretty good, and it synergizes already with our two creatures. And Living Willow is good with, like, Feed the Forest, but we're not necessarily going to get one. It's also pretty good with buffs and also good against Rush, but not a lot of people play Yellow Rush in Pandora. It's really hard to do it well, and you have to get lucky with your drafts. So I'd say Ancient Boar here. Uh, Fire Elemental, you always want some land ramp in Pandora so you can get lands closer to them. It's really important for endgame in Pandora. And it's just any land ramp, even any Elemental is good. And these other cards are kind of meh. So we'll get the Elemental. Uh, Voice of Truth can be really good in Pandora since there's treasures that buff cards. Uh, so I think I would get that. King Shard's okay. Firebringer is not good unless you have a lot of uh, higher attack than life stuff. So Voice of Truth. Grimguard. There we go. There's a combat creature. The rest of these are all kind of garbage. Grimguard. Um, another Firestorm would be really nice. Lord of Terror isn't really a good card. Even though they buffed it, it still sucks. I thought that was kind of garbage. Um, unless you're rushing, which we're not going to rush with this deck, so 
Firestorm, second Firestorm. Oh, Elrond Brace, best green card in the game. Easy pick. The rest of these are aren't, aren't great. Um, okay, so Teapot. Like, you could get Teapot and in, in a deck if you know you're gonna have a lot of little creatures. So far, all of our creatures are pretty big, so Teapot's not gonna help us that much. It only really buffs Voice of Truth and uh, Grimguard. That isn't, you know, that isn't gifted. I think we can get an astral weapon here, and and I don't, I really don't, I really don't like Stone of Fair Fortune because, like, you don't know what treasures you're getting, and you might don't know when you're gonna draw them. You could take like five turns to draw one of them. Astral weapon's really fun too. It's just if you're already losing though, it's really hard to save up Fairy to play it if you're like if they have lands by your face and stuff. So we're gonna have to make sure we play defensive here, so that we can astral we save up Fairy for astral weapon over over two turns. You plus one Fairy two turns, and you can play it. Once Pandora opens. So we got uh, Underground Boss. If we get another gift, it'd be okay to Underground Boss. At this point, it's too weak still. If we, if we get a second gift and we get another Underground Boss, we can get it. Seed Sower is some good land ramp. Because we don't have any green land ramp yet. And also, it's good with Oak Father. And it's good with uh, uh, Eldred Embrace, too. Another Ancient Boar is really good value, though. Especially since we have... All of our creatures, except for Fire Elemental, have 5 toughness. So I think Ancient Boar, another Oak Father would be okay. It's a little expensive considering we have Astral Weapon now too. Okay, so here's a tough choice, sort of. It's a Tiki or a Gift. And uh, it's easy, like, another another Gift would be good if, if we get another combat creature, it would be better. But a Tiki is better in general for buffing if you don't have enough combat creatures. So Tiki's the safer option, Gift is more of a risky, hoping you'll get more combat. Uh, but since we have so much toughness on the Oak Father, we can Gift it and, and, and still it'll probably live to kill two things. So I think Gift is fine. Um, I don't really like Sylvan Sagami, unless there's some combo you can do with it, like a Sack combo. Yeah, I'm gonna get uh, War Beast here. Grappling Hook is a really fun surprise card, and Pandora especially, and Ladder too, but Pandora especially, and it seems pretty good in this deck. Cypheroth, it's always good to have some removal in any card game uh, where you're drafting a deck, so Cypheroth is great. We already have two Firestorms, but Cypheroth is more spot removal, which is great. Uh, Shooting Pest is okay, but um, Cypher's better, and Overground Tower is actually pretty good too. Shadim Brute for the second Gift of Steel was really good. Tiki Piper's okay. Deeper Grizzly is okay, but Shadim Brute's great. Okay, so now we can take the Tiki Caretaker or the Shamanic Dance, but I don't think we're going to need a Taunt to give anything Taunt with this deck. We have some pretty good creatures, so we're going to Tiki. Okay, so it's either Hellfire, uh, Flame Slick Fairy, or Voice of Hunger here. Voice of Hunger is too weak against. Pandora has extra spot removal, like Doom Scythe, so it's weak against that. Um, Fame Silk Fairy. How many events do I have? Two Firestorm. One, two, three, four, five. It's only six events, so it's not going to get buffed that much. I think Hellfire is the choice here. It's more removal, too. Okay, um, so another Cypher or a Sedim Pest. I think another Cypher is fine. Uh, ooh, Runin's Guidance or Flamethrower or Daring Adventure even is pretty good. Um, I don't think Daring Adventure is great in this deck actually, because we should be we should have a board control usually, and ha they won't have that many creatures out. This deck, Runin's Guidance to give her more buffs, and then and also if we're losing to like some treasure that's getting our life down, it's good to gain life too. Flamethrower is three mountain cost. That's kind of shitty early on, so I think Runin's Guidance. <laughs> Equinox is one of the another one of the best treasures, especially in this deck, to do that extra six damage to them or to gain six. Dancing Blade can be really good, especially synergizing with Firestorm. If you Firestorm then Dancing Blade, you potentially kill all their stuff um, in one turn. But Dancing Blade's a little better if you have like movement tricks or something. So I think uh, Equinox is better here. Our average fairy cost is a little off here because of the astral weapon. I think it's probably without that it'd probably be like 4.7 or something. So we need to start getting some lower cost stuff though. 
<coughs> I think Flame Burst is great removal in any deck. Uh, punishment's actually okay in Pandora because a lot of times they might have some neutral stuff. We're not trying to kill them by doing damage to their face too much with this deck, so Cypher Swatter isn't super great. I think Punishment's actually fine. Um, Coldwell Barracks here is actually fine. Path to Paradise for more ramp is actually fine too, for like Grappling Hook or Firestorm. Also, you can Path to Paradise and then double Ancient Boar on it and then put another third card on it and they all get buffed. Because Ancient Boar has Dash. I think Path is fine in this deck. Uh, Spirit of Rebirth would be good. It's a good collector and uh, it starts buffing a lot of stuff in your hand if they don't avoid kill it, so I think we can get that. We don't really need another path. Grove Collar for a movement trick would be nice. Really nice, actually. Grove Guardian, not so great in this deck. Unless they're playing Yellow Rush for some weird reason. And these two are not that great. More Master Swordsman can be okay if you don't have anything else to pick in your colors. Uh, ooh, Emerald Salamander is really good in this deck. Bomb Slinger is okay. Rune's Presence is okay, but Emerald Salamander is perfect for this deck. <coughs> Buff all our stuff, kill their stuff, two damage to everything. Buff all our creatures by two. Another best green card in the game, Elder Embrace. Uh, third hel second Hellfire, or say a Crumbling Golem. Crumbling Golem could be good. Yeah, I think Crumbling Golem is probably the best here because you can suicide into one of the big creatures. If you need to. And it's pretty cheap. Oh, another other one embrace. I think this deck's amazing. It's just amazing. Uh, Firebomb. That's the best card here. All this other stuff isn't great in this deck. Okay, now we can get Dancing Blade, because World's Tier is only good in like a Rush deck, really. Haste deck. And then Death's Desire is pretty awful. Like, unless you're gonna kill them the turn you kill their creature, because they're gonna gain very equal to the creature's cost and draw two cards, so I think Dancing Blade. <coughs> so that's our Pandora deck, guys. It's it's pretty good. That's that's how I think about drafting Pandora every time. There's a lot of thought going into it. I'm not just randomly clicking cards or like, you know, we and even in, I'd say uh, Pandora decks have the best are best with average cost between four and four point five Feria, and without Astral Weapon, we would probably have that. The Astral Weapon is changing the numbers a little bit. So it's it's a, it's going to be a pretty solid uh, deck and 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 have good like rent, like progressive playing cheap cards first to collect, playing a little better cards mid range and then playing your high end stuff like Oakfather, Hellfire, Astral Weapon. I think this will be a really really good run here. And red green is one of the most consistent. You can consistently good get good Pandora direct decks drafting red green. If you get a lucky draft, if you draft red burn or red yellow burn, if you get enough burn cards, that's more consistent at winning the games, but in terms of just getting a consistent deck, I'd say red green is the most consistent, followed by maybe mono green, then mono red, then mono blue. Mono yellow is the least consistent. Alright guys, have a good uh, rest of your day or evening, and I will see you in the next video. And enjoy Faria. See you guys, have a good day. I just dropped that deck, I'm not even gonna play it. Lol. <laughs>